Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. I uh, want to do a video today about a interesting shotgun microphone that you can use in combination with the Canon Vixia HF-R800 camcorder. Now I am a really, really big fan of the Canon Vixia HF-R800. When I decided two years ago I wanted to learn about video, which is very much an ongoing process, I was looking for a camcorder that I could afford, but that was by a decent brand and also that had an external microphone input so that I could play around with different microphones and not just be limited to the internal microphone on the camcorder. The Canon Vixia HFR800 ticked all those boxes and I think that for a lot of people, when you're looking at the camcorder market, if you don't wanna go down the DSLR or mirrorless direction, there's this big gap on the market between this, which is a great entry level tool, and then the uh, prosumer and professional camcorders that cost upwards of $1,000. It's a lot of money for most people. Um, so I've been experimenting with different external shotgun microphones to use with this, and a microphone that I was fascinated by was the Comica TrackShot. The Comica TrackShot is a transformational dual shotgun microphone. So it's got two shotguns here mounted on the top. It's got a little LCD screen on the back that gives you levels. And this is compatible with the Canon Vixia HF-R800. Basically, any microphone that supplies its own power is going to work with the Vixia. If the microphone requires power, whether that's phantom power, 48 volt, or plug-in power, it's not going to work. But once the microphone supplies its own power, somehow it doesn't matter whether that's a uh, battery or it's got a rechargeable built-in lithium battery like this, then it's gonna work just fine. Uh, so this, this is a really interesting one. Um, it's got a little power switch here. And once you press that, the, uh, the microphone comes to life. Now it's got a gain wheel here. So this is a little bit complicated because when you're using external microphones with the Canon Vixia HF-R800, you want to move the microphone out of automatic mode and put it into manual mode. Usually there isn't a gain level on the microphone. So when you're using these two guys in combination, you've actually got two levels to set. Firstly, you can see as I'm speaking, the levels are reading on the actual microphone. So the first thing you want to do is get the levels uh, set to an appropriate setting here. The wheel goes from zero to 10. So I've got it set at about seven. It's a little bit too high, five, but somewhere between five, let's go back to five. Now that I'm at five, I'm not getting any reds. I'm getting into the kind of oranges um, and that looks fairly okay to me. Now, the next thing that you want to do to use this um, is, as I said, you want to go into the settings menu on the Canon Vixia and you want to make sure that your microphone level is set to manual, M. So if it's reading A, then you need to go out of automatic and go into manual mode. Now, what I would say is that it's a trial and error process. So now I'm going to just go ahead and connect the microphone. So what I've done, I've discussed this before. Um, I bought something called a cold adhesive mount. You get these on Amazon for like 10 bucks and um, it just basically sticks on because the Canon Vixia HF-R800 inconveniently doesn't have any cold shoes. So this thing has worked fairly well for me so far. Nothing has come off. Everything's been pretty solid. So this is a cold shoe at the base. So all you need to do then is just literally screw it into this shoe. And then this, this bit can be a bit finicky. It's got kind of a tightening wheel and uh, these are super sensitive to vibrations. So as you can see, it's probably jittering around a little bit. But there you go. It's now on. And um, the beauty about this microphone and why I thought it was a cool idea is it's very versatile. So because you've got your two arms, you can either have them both facing outward. So let's say you're recording an interview subject in front of you, or you can actually swivel both arms. Now something I couldn't see in YouTube videos, I couldn't find videos where someone where someone had both arms facing backwards. So I had to comment on people's videos to ask when you do it, so you can. So now as you can see, I'm shooting this way, but I've got the uh, transformational arms backwards and you can do one and one. So I can push one arm of the microphone forward, have one arm backwards. It does look a bit funky, uh, but it works. So now I'm getting audio capture both from me as I'm speaking and if I'm interviewing, uh, if I wanna be capturing sound outwards. Again, these things are really, really uh, jittery, but that's just the way that it is. So the next thing, so after I've set the gain on the um, actual microphone itself, 
the next thing you want to do is adjust the gain levels on the manual mode. So it's been a trial and error process. I figured out that level 14 was the best. Um, I figured that out because when I'm not speaking, the levels are zero. When I'm speaking, they're somewhere between minus 12 and minus zero in that kind of uh, orange zone. You don't wanna get to zero or the red zone usually on a level meter. So that looks just about right to me. So I set the two levels, got them in coordination. And um, when I pull out the sound clips from my SD card, it sounds pretty good. Uh, by contrast, if I use the automatic mic levels on the Vixia, even if I've got the level dialed in perfectly on the uh, microphone, the audio is unusable. So you basically have to set a manual uh, level and I picked that tip up thankfully by asking what was going wrong in the Canon form. I was using my first external microphones on this camcorder and everything sounded horrible. I thought it was the microphones and they said, no, if you're using an external microphone with the Vixia, you need to set the levels manually. Hope that video was useful if you're looking for a shotgun microphone that can be used with the Canon Vixia HFR800. Uh, this is kind of my current uh, favorite, the one I've been going to and I think it's a great microphone. It charges via USB type C and in a couple of hours, uh, you'll have a decent store of power in the microphone and it works with the Vixia. Thank you guys for watching. To get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.